Okay, so I'm going to show how to open up an HP Pavilion X360M convertible model 14M-BA015DX. So first what you want to do is just remove the screws from the bottom. So there's one here under this rubber cover. You'll have to remove it. I just used my nail. And there's one here under the plastic one. Uh, you'll probably need to use a needle or something. And then there's a third one under this rubber. And then you got three at the bottom, so... Just remove those six screws. Once you do that, I found the easiest way is to open the laptop slightly. So just have it at an angle like this. And while it's like that, you can get your nails between the edge here. So these will be like clipped in place. Um, I opened it just to make it easier to show on video. But basically you get your nails in between those cracks and you just pull on that while you're pushing with your thumb here. And then just go all the way around um, the hardest part will be the back edges, so once you get there, um, you'll be going all the way around on the sides and everything, and then the little back edges will be a little tough. You might have to use like a pry tool or something along the back edge here, so to get to some of it, you might have to like fold the screen backwards and things like that, but once you get all of that, you can get the back and you can get all the sides and the front. Um, these little spots will be a little difficult, but once you get those, you can kind of pull on it or use a pry tool and kind of pry on it. Um, and then just be careful. I like to use this kind of as a safety so the keyboard doesn't fall too far. So basically have it so there's like a slight angle gap like that. So when you let it down, as you can see, there's the cable for the keyboard and the trackpad here. So I just adjust the screen of the screen angle to hold that for me so I can actually pull these the little latch here. And once you pull that, then you can push the cable back. And the same thing with this one, the lever, it's on the front, so you just flip it up. Let's see if I can get it with my other nail. But get in it. And then just flip it up like that and then this cable comes out. So to put it back, you just make sure the, those little levers are up and then you can slide it back in and put the latch back down. But yeah, so once you remove all of those, you can pull this piece out, okay, like that, just take that out. So there are also some clips in the middle here, so right there, so it's a little bit tough. It'll be, it'll, you'll feel that it gets stuck in the middle and that's why but it'll be okay, just kind of pull on it and it'll come out. Okay. All right, then inside you can see there's the fan here. See it's held in with a screw here. Um, then you got the, what's that, the power button. So if the power button breaks, you can easily replace that. Got the LCD connector here. Um, the speaker cable connector here. You see the speakers running along the top. Then you got the wireless antennas. The wireless card is actually underneath the board, so if you had to replace it for some reason, you'd have to remove that. This is, I believe, the touchscreen cable or the, the webcam cable. Then you got the DC jack here. All right. Everything else is part of the same board except for this, this board here, which is for the volume buttons and the headphone jack, as well as the hard drive light. And you can see the battery. To remove the battery, you just take all the screws out that are holding it, and then you kind of just pull up on it because this connector presses down onto these slot slotted pins. All right, so you can see that. Um, I'm not going to open underneath to see, but I'm guessing the RAM is probably removable just because there's such a big gap between the board and the plastic. But you can see the RAM here. All right, and then these ports are all soldered to the board. I replaced the hard drive with an SSD, so it's pretty simple. Um, let me get out the actual hard drive to show you. Let's see here. So the actual hard drive, it'll have the adapter on it. So the adapter is is this piece. So they convert the SATA to this little connector here, and this tape just wraps over it. So you'll have to peel this tape back, and then also. Um, make sure not to break bend this cable too much but you'll have to separate that from the tape and then you can pull that out the connector was difficult for me to 
to remove from it. So what I did was I used this little pry tool and put it between the two layers and then I kind of just pried it up and it came out pretty easily. So I just did that on both sides. But that's pretty much it. Um, this is a customer's computer so I don't want to mess with it too much on things I don't need to do. But um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below. Um, and if this video helps you get into your computer, um, please make sure to like and subscribe because it will really help me out. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.